one of the things that inspired me to go do rape crisis work was an experience of being attacked on the street when I was about 21 years old um, by a man who came out of nowhere and uh, specifically told me what he was going to do to me and how much I was going to enjoy it. Um, I managed to get away um, by asserting myself very strongly and ran home and made the mistake of calling the police. Uh, so they came over, it was, you know, it was two or three in the morning and um, asked me really pointed questions and let me know that only whores walked alone in the city uh, and then said they'd be in touch. They called me the next day at my workplace. I was working uh, as a secretary in a bank and insisted that I repeat on the phone every detail of what the man had said and what had happened. And then they said, yeah, we think we got the guy. I never heard from them again. So I felt very exploited by that experience. And in the time I was working at the Rape Crisis Center, we had a whole thing of um, some people wanted to educate the police, some people thought we should just circumvent them. And both of those things happened. You know, we found ways to, to deal with situations without them, and some people educated them. And on one of the last calls that I took uh, before I resigned, I ended up working with a police officer, uh, a male police officer, who kept saying to me, am I being sensitive enough? Like, do you, do you think, like how did I come across? Did, you know, was, I, was I listening well enough? I thought, okay, some things have come full circle here. Uh, at least there's a consciousness that's different.